Be it with vada pavs, idlis or anything you want to spice up, this dry garlic chutney adds a delicious kick to everything. Bringing you today in two ways, home style and street style. For home style dry garlic chutney, I'm taking one garlic bulb and smashing it with my palm to break it into garlic cloves. You can even use a flat knife for the same. The bulb has loosened up into cloves. In all, I have around 16 to 18 cloves for this recipe. Let's move on to the process of roasting. In a pan on heat on medium flame, I'm adding 15 dry red chilies. Let's roast it on low to medium flame for 1 minute. These are done. Next goes in the garlic cloves. Roast it for 2 minutes. Let's take this out. Next is 2 tablespoon of peanuts. Let's roast this for 3 minutes and bring this out. Now I'm roasting 1/4 cup of desiccated coconut. Do not roast this for long. Just 30 seconds are good enough. And the last ingredient we need to roast is 2 tablespoons of sesame seeds. Roast the seeds for 3 minutes and then take them out. For grinding, I am firstly taking roasted red chilies to grind. These are ground into powder. Next, I am adding to the grinder the roasted garlic cloves, roasted peanuts and roasted sesame seeds. Once ground, I am adding to this the roasted desiccated coconut and 1 teaspoon of salt. Give a single grind. Home style dry garlic chutney is ready. The best thing about this home style chutney is You can store it in an airtight container and it will stay cooked for 6 to 7 days at room temperature and 20 to 25 days in a refrigerator. For the street style garlic chutney, while making the batata varas, the remains of the besan batter while frying the varas, also called the chura, is used for the chutney. Once they are fried crisp, they become the base for the dry garlic chutney. instead of the peanuts coconut and sesame seeds that we used in the home style version now for grinding i'm firstly taking 15 roasted dry red chilies let's grind into a powder next grind along 15 roasted garlic cloves and at last 1 cup of besan chura along with half teaspoon of salt Not much is needed since the chura already has some salt in it. Street style dry garlic chutney is ready. You can add it in vada pavs or even add a garlicky kick to your idlis. Not only this, turn it into a creamy garlic chutney by adding 1 tablespoon of dry garlic chutney into 2 tablespoons of whisked curd. Enjoy this creamy garlic chutney with dosas, uttapams or even parathas. So when life turns bland and boring, add a touch of this on your palate and it promises to elevate all your senses. Until we meet again, eat well, live well and stay blessed.